right, a good day to all. Happy Friday. We're uh, June 22nd here, kind of late morning. And it's uh, a Friday, so that means it's a Bitcoin Friday. Now, <clears throat> we're uh, doing some different things. Uh, as uh, you may re recall from last Friday, we're doing a bull bear case. Now, I'm going to take the bull case, the very wounded bull, trying to uh, salvage a bullish count out of here, although it's getting harder and harder to do it. Uh, but just as a reminder, we, uh, we do, we're very active on Twitter. So if you're interested in the bearish case, which my partner Quan will do, and you've seen some of his videos as, as well, um, then uh, you'll want to follow us on Twitter. And we're looking for some retweets here. If we get enough retweets, then I'm going to have him uh, come in on Saturday and uh, put together the bearish count. So just something to keep in mind. Plus, we do a lot of prom promotion opportunities for you to check out our, our uh, public Discord, which is kind of a, a trial, a sampling of what we do in the members Discord. So give us a follow on Twitter. You can see some details there. Of course, you can always check out more on our website at tradedevils.com. Okay, with all of that said, can a bull uh, survive this price action here? So we've had, uh, you know, it's just, just, just what bears would, uh, would, would want here. So we've got more uncertainty. So we have Classic FUD. There's uncertainty, there's fear, and there's doubt in the market. So market gets sold off. Is there is there any hope for a bullish case? Well, it's getting tougher and tougher on the assumption that this is a one. So if we break this February 6th low, that cannot be a one. Mighty close. We're within what, 100 bucks of it. But until it breaks, I mean, it's, you know, it's, there it is, right? It's, it's not broken yet. So odds of it breaking pretty high, getting that close. But would it be the craziest thing I've ever seen to, to not break it? Nope, nope, not by a long shot. So let's uh, let's see if we can figure out a roadmap to get us out of here without breaking this. It's going to be very, very close. All right. So just just to just to reiterate the point here, that from this February six pivot to the bullish case, the, the the best case scenario here, given where we sit, is that this is a this was a one, and that we're having a very very deep ABC. So yeah, I know, I know, getting harder harder to make that case. But let, let's I hear I'm sitting here on a four hour, so let let's go down to the one hour, and then we'll dig in here and see if it's it's possible we can get out of this without breaking that low. Well, if we if we Working backwards here now from from this assumption here that we had to, we had to allow for this and I've as I've reviewed in prior videos, we have to allow for this very th short C wave here to bring us down. So the, and the reason for that so we can get an ABC off of this low. So we had a clear five coming down here, so that sets us up. Let me tighten that puppy up. That sets us up for an A wave. Well, we do get this very clear five here, not very nice impulse that came off that low, right? So that, but that, that, you know, and ends up, right, per the depth of this correction, the only way we can count this to maintain this, uh, this bullish uh, scenario here is that we have to go A with a B and then a C. Now we can get five in the C, but the length of the C relative to the A, really poor symmetry. Again, is it impossible? No, I mean, it happens, but that's, that's, you know, and that's that's not the the setup that you would hope for there, right? Of course, initially we all were thinking that we had the possibility here that this this was our low here, the C here, and that we had a one two. But given the depth of it, we can't can't count it that way anymore, of course. So, what can we see? Where can we be clear? Where can we be definitive about? what the uh, Elliott count is telling us. Well, I, I got my very clear five coming down. I got, here's my third. Well, now coming off of that B, the only way to count this here is we, 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 we have to count this as a one, two. Wait, now this, this being a three and this being a four. No other way to count it because of the length of some of these waves. So we have to we, we can't ignore any five wave structure that completes so we get a clear impulse of here we do get the little abc here but then given the length of this of this move here we can't go abc we can't go one two three four five so it has to be one two down for the three here's our four right where you'd anticipate it right so the bear, bearish side had this all lined up and then we've had the rip. Here's the FUD from last night. Down we go, whether it's the Mount Gox news or the Japanese regulation. News. It's fear, right? It's uncertainty. It's doubt. All the things that, that cause people to sell. 
All right, so we're getting a little reaction down here. Now we did come down here. Let's see if I've got to tighten these up here. I had to, uh, whenever you move move time frames here, you got to check your pivot. So get that right on it. Okay, so I'm working on a on a, a set of median lines here that gave me this tap right here at, at this at, right here when we tap the median line. Up we go for the reaction. Now here's here's the conundrum as we sit. So here's the here's the February February sixth low. We cannot break that. Here's the algo target and the median line. So it certainly certainly looks like what, what the likely path here is that some sort of a four goes in. And we come down for the five, breaking that. And you might think, oh well, that I've, now I've completed the ABC, but it d doesn't work for us because it can't be a two. So we have to recount the whole thing. So let me take that off. So the, the there is one very slim possibility here, but still remains that, that allows us to get out of this without breaking this low. It's a bit of a Hail Mary for the bulls here, but it's still there. So so from this four here, we, we get this nice technical, this little ABC. We've got the one, the two, then here's the impulsive move down for our three. Well, I got to go down. Let's see, I may have to go to the 30 minute for this. All right, let's look at it on the 30. Okay, so if we if we if we break this apart, let me open it up a little more. Okay, so if we break this apart, so one two. Well, let's let let's check the length of that third relative to the one. So here's my one. Here's my two. Well, I'm just shy of the two six one eight. So you know, c close enough. You know, that's a fifty bucks or so. Close enough to where I think that's a reasonable candidate here for a pivot for for our third, right? Now we don't, this may go down again. We don't, we don't, we don't know. But right now as what's that low is uh, 6084 and we're now at 6167. We're not even a hundred bucks off of it. So here, here's the, here's the only way out of this without breaking this low. All right, one, two. So we, we can, we, we have to accommodate this three relative to this two, six, one, eight, meaning that that pivot needs to hold. So what are we looking for is now the four. So can we get from the, the if we look at for a retracement of the entire third from my two high up here, and I go down, now that needs to hold is my three. We'll see, note what we get here. So here's, here's the four. All right, so we, we have potential here. Now this, these are, you know, this is not something to bet the kids tuition money on. But so here, here's a potential here. So we come, we, we get this support of prior, pardon me, this level here. This is prior support, prior support. Potentially now we kick in here, we get prior support kicks in as resistance. So our best case here for the bulls is that we get a little three wave into a fourth here. And then we come down to the five and best case is we double bottom. Can we do that without breaking that by a tick? Well, yeah, it's possible. It's not, I don't, I, is it likely? You know, what, what I find is that the closer we get to a pivot, the higher the probability that it breaks because the 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 appetite to, to tap all the stops that will sitting will, that will be sitting underneath that low will be so strong. Now, you do have the potential for a bear trap. All right, as they run those stops and the market can rip, they run the stops and then it rips away. But we'll have to change the count. So we don't we don't have an Elliott count here. And I, I of course I will rework one if we do break that. But until we break it, I, I'm holding with this is my best case here is that we're looking for a double bottom since and really only because I can see this, I've got this algo target here. So the other way we could look at it, we could say, all right, let's look at the length of the of the one projected from this hypothetical proposed, it's just proposed four. I do not know where the four is going. Could be deeper, could be more shallow. Just again, I'm trying to give us a roadmap that could get us out of here without breaking this low. Well, if we think about it in terms of traditional wave relationships, the, if I pull this back, that would be essentially a, a, a slight, essentially a double bottom here. We'd be triple bottoming one, two, three times. So what I have here is 100% the length of the one projected from a, a proposed, a hypothetical four. So don't hang your hat on that. That's just a possibility if the four comes in here. All right, now if we go down to the one, six, one, eight, that's just below this, right? So here's our, here's our can't break zone. 
and we've got this technical confluence lining up here. So I've got a little hot box down here. So I've got my algo target. I've got my prior pivot. I've got my 1618. Again, this is all hypothetical relative to what may or may not happen in that fourth. And again, we don't even know if this three is good. But it's a contender given how close it was to the 2618. So th there's the only map roadmap I can see getting us out of there that would set us up for that, that gigantic double bottom that would give us the opportunity for that to move off of that impulsively. Now, is it a stretch? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. All, all the comments are going to come. Right, so, you know, if you, do, if you don't like it, don't trade it, right? So I'm just showing, so my job here is to show you, is there a technical roadmap out of here that could get us out of this without breaking that low? Well, there it is. Now, am I, I going to buy it here? No, no, nope. and I'm not going to sell it here. So, you know, but it's, again, it's not about what I'm doing. It's about, you know, here's the methodology. Can you apply this and, and, and make it work for you? Right? So the, it's, you know, you, you got to, you got to, you know, take what you see here and find a way to apply it. If you, if you, you think it's valid, right? I can't make that decision for you. All I can do is demonstrate to you how you can apply it, right? And what, where the likely pivot points are and probability zones are to be found. So if we move up here, would I sell that? No, no, because I'm, I'm long Bitcoin, right? So I'm, I'm a long-term bull. So I wouldn't sell that, but I neither, nor would I buy into this double bottom here. It's, I've shared this with members many times. This was taught to me years ago and I tested it because, because I'm stubborn. I tested, I tested it many, 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 many times. More money lost than I care to recall. And it, it goes this way. When the market is moving down, buyers at lows create new lows. Sellers at highs create new highs. So the idea being that if you're a buyer down here, it's, it's, the, it's the, the, the momentum of the market. A, a buyer down here is we put in, if we were putting in fresh lows. It's that buyer, that, so in the, the inevitable stop that you need to have underneath it that, that ultimately triggers that stop gets hit and it's more fuel to drive it lower. Right, that's the idea. Buyers at low create buyers at lows create new lows. Sellers at high create new new highs. Because what you want to wait for is this. You want, so let me take this off here. So we want to wait for this. So from here, eh, come here. You want to wait for this. And now you're not buying at new lows. You're buying the retracement off of that low, looking for that possibility. So this this is the difference, right? Buying here. Not a good idea. Trust me, I've tried it many, many times. Right? Even though it's technical, it's a pivot low. This is coming down here, potentially completing. But your, if we break here, that's new lows. Right? Don't want to be a buyer there. If we get a pivot coming out of there, would I consider the first retrace? Sure, because now I've got a technical pivot here. I'm not buying at new lows. Now, I, I know clearly where my exit is. Right? So I could be a buyer here, stop under the pivot. Right? If it gets stopped out, well, then I then I got to wait again. Then I would wait for, then you wait. Well, let's let's take that off. So if if it gets stopped out and we go down here, let's say we get that second algo target, we get a tap of the median line. All right. Well, all the stops have fueled that move there, and then you wait for this. Now, do we get a reaction? Can I come off of it? Do I get a motive wave? First retracement. That I would buy. Right? It's not new lows. You're, you're setting yourself up for, in this case, what would be the two? Or if we were coming down, it would be the two here or a B. You're not buying new lows. You're setting yourself for the, for the possibility that you have an internal retracement. You break this pivot and you've got an external retracement. Now you've got a contender here for a series up for a new trend. Right? So low, higher low, higher high. That's the beginning definition of a new trend. So that's our best case is that we hold here. Again, it's, you know, it's it, it would be one heck of a ha of a hail mary for Bitcoin to hold that. So we we will see. But right now, you know, you just you gotta you know, trade what the market is revealing. Right now, it's this certainly looks impulsive. We're gonna correct it. Most likely, there'll be some correction of it, and then you know, maybe over the weekend we drive down one more time. Now, where are we going? Are we going here? Are we going here? You know, the the other thing to consider is. Tapping the median line once, that's positive. Now, this becomes a magnet to try and get back to the median line. So if we were, let's pull this off. If we were to pivot here, 
right? That and we got that double bottom, right? Long shot that it is. If we got that double bottom, this that would actually imply strength because a failure to make the median line would suggest that the market is strengthening. So if we do that, and we come off of here. Let me get it this way. So if this, if we get a motive, right? If we come off of that, you got to get five. If we get a motive off of that, then that next retracement looks tradable because you you you've got the implied strength here because this this fails to make the median line. All right, so just something to think about. All right, with that, I, there's not a lot more that I can add there, I don't think. So how am I doing? That's uh, 15 minutes. All right, so uh, just a reminder, give us a follow on Twitter. If you'll retweet this, I can get my partner, Quan to come out and give you the, the bearish case. So those of you that have seen his videos know what, what a, just a remarkable technician he is. So I would encourage you not to miss that. All right, so something to keep in mind. So again, you can find us on Twitter. It's Trade Devils, Trade Devils with an S. Same as our website, tradedevils.com, if you're interested in some of the things that we offer to you for um, educational purposes. All right, so there's, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to watch it. All right, guys, I'll wrap it there. Happy Friday. We'll be back uh, next week. Okay, see you later.